Hi YouTube, this is my small colony of pill millipedes. So you can see here they're just kept in a plastic tub with some ventilation holes around the sides. And then it's just simply like soil, moss and some cork bark for them to hide under. Here's one. Um, you may not have seen these, even if you're from the UK, which is where these are from, um, you may never have come across them. Um, they're easily overlooked because when people see them, they quite often just assume that they're a type of woodlouse. But you can see they're very black in colour, for one thing. They do look, at first glance, a bit like our type of um, woodlouse that curls into a ball. But they're not. They're completely different. They're a type of millipede. So when they unroll, and you can have a look at them, they've got loads more legs than a woodlouse. And here you go. Here's a couple of um, adult females. You can see they're very shiny, very glossy looking. And when you spray the cage, they come out and have a wander around. They prefer it when it's a slightly damp. And mine have just had some babies, so I'm really kind of excited about this because I've never bred this species before in captivity. So if you look here, all of these little white um, specks are little babies. Let me see if I can turn this around and give you a better kind of view of them. Yeah, they're really tiny and they're white at the moment. I guess maybe um, they've just hatched out of eggs and they haven't... Uh, had a chance to kind of harden and go black yet or maybe they just darken as they grow. I've bred um, giant African train millipedes before but I've never bred pill millipedes um, despite keeping them a few times. Um, so I kept a species that was uh, from another tropical country and it was like a metallic green colour and it was about probably two centimeters when they're curled in a ball so it's quite a big species these ones are tiny just sort of woodlouse sized but I collected probably about 20 and put them in this colony so I should end up with a load more now that they've had babies and hopefully they keep having babies so when you find these in the wild it's a good idea to collect a range of sizes because the, the females are quite a bit bigger than the males um, and also, if you are collecting them, try and collect slightly more um, females than males if you want to start a little colony. You can see I've left this quite natural, like in here there's a lot of other kind of species in the soil as well. I've seen uh, there are a few wood lice in here for example, but I know these babies are definitely pill millipede babies because I've had a, a close up under the microscope. I know there are other species in here like springtails and things like that as well and springtails are quite good for keeping the soil clean so they're kind of like people use them in cages as kind of clean up crews so it's worth keeping those if you've got some naturally in your soil anyway there goes a woodlouse across the top so the care of these is pretty basic really I just keep them at room temperature um, okay, I'm going to give them a bit of a spray and then hopefully you'll be able to see them wandering about. Quite often if you've just picked them up, they stay tightly curled up in their ball for a while just to protect themselves. But um, if you spray them, they like the moisture and that quite often entices them to come out for a little walk around. Um, you can see here, I, I do spray it quite a lot, I spray especially the moss and that keeps the humidity up in the cage. You don't want to dry them out. These these creatures hate it when it's completely dry. Um, so in the wild, you find them on heathland and that kind of thing. Here's one you can see is just uncurled and they started to come out for a wonder. Um, yeah, heathlands, that's the best kind of place to find them. And you, you can find them in quite sunny areas, but they'll always be like under logs and things where it's a lot more humid. I do find them in woodlands quite a lot as well. Um, usually in quite mossy places, again under logs, uh, pine woodlands are quite good as well. The metallic green species that I kept was amazing and I would like to give them another try because if I could breed those in captivity it would be great. With these things it's quite often it's just realising how to get your setup right and once you've done it, if you record you know, the temperatures you've been keeping them at, what you've been feeding them, that kind of thing, then if you do manage to breed them, you can obviously carry on and do it again. 
in the future and it's nice to kind of keep a colony going. I know in the wild, in tropical countries, there is a species that is about the size of a golf ball, which would be a fantastic thing to be able to keep in captivity, but I wouldn't want to keep those until I've kind of practiced with the smaller species first that are more common. But yeah, I, I just love these guys. I don't know what it is about them. Uh, I love wood lice anyway, but I prefer these millipedes just because I think because they've got a lot more legs, they're much kind of slower moving and they've got the kind of very typical millipede shaped head as well, with the little antennae. They just kind of come across as really friendly looking little things. They just nibble on the moss and the algae and things in the cage and also you can put in bits of dead leaf matter and they'll have a little munch on that as well. So from that point of view, they're a very kind of easy species to keep. You don't have to, they don't cost much to feed or anything like that. And their care is pretty basic, just spraying them occasionally to keep the substrate a bit damp. I know a lot more people have been keeping isopods in captivity, i.e. wood lice, um, in recent years. And I think this has come because people keep wood lice in their cages of other animals as a sort of clean up crew so they feed on kind of dead things in the um, enclosure and they help to keep your enclosure clean so people were keeping kind of a few species of tropical wood lice uh, to help them in their kind of cages and from that people found lots of other species of isopods that you can keep in captivity some of them really kind of elaborately coloured um, or they've got really cool kind of stripes and things on them. I know there's a, a wood louse that curls into a ball that is uh, kind of black and white. Uh, that one's really nice. And so I think, you know, as well as the isopods, if you get into the isopods, that's great. And you'll probably love these pill millipedes as well because they're very similar to keep for one thing. Um, but I think like they're even nicer right we'll have a little look around here and you can see more that have started to uncurl and walk about this is all due to the fact that i sprayed the cage so we've got a couple here uh see if i can find any more there's one down there okay i hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope it inspires some of you to keep these interesting invertebrates yourself um, hit subscribe to see any videos that I do in the future and I'll catch you in the next one.